How's everybody doing? Mike here from MBG Adventures. I got another video here for you. So as you can see, I got my uh, John Deere 636M. It's a 36 inch stand on. And what I have on the front of it is a spreader. So, uh, Justin Little and I last year, we, uh, we ordered up a tube from Amazon welded it on our machines you can see the welds right here going across there and i painted it it looks factory doesn't it i don't know why uh all mowers should come with a hitch tube you know so anyway just my opinion that's so you can put attachments on and stuff so it's very easy to do these these tubes are so cheap to buy get it welded on paint it to the color of your machine i prefer green as you can see and it looks factory, totally factory. So anyway, this thing here, uh, you can look back at my videos. If you follow me, you already know about this. If not, look back. Um, this is like a ATV uh, spreader, or something like that, they, they call it, whatever. Um, it doesn't have the, uh, it didn't come with the two inch uh, uh, hitch tube, right? To go into a receiver. So what we did, Basically, this part right here, there's another attachment and it hooks up to, I don't know, a different kind of hitch system. So, just got a, a draw bar, two inch draw bar, just a normal one, right? Now, two inch draw bar, you can see it still says it right on there. And weld this thing right onto it. Why not? Look at that, it's gold. I didn't paint this yet. Actually, I should paint that black. All right, I'm going to paint that just to make it look nice. But, um, perfect. I used the spreader already, not on this machine, but uh, remember when I had the stand-on aerator, which I got rid of again, which I didn't like. Uh, that Xmark uh, stand-on aerator had a hitch receiver like that on the front of it, and I did use it. Uh, I have a video using it. So this is going to be the first time uh, using it on the, on the 36. It works awesome. I'm not gonna fire it up right now just because I got fertilizer in there ready to go. I'm gonna do my front yard. I'm gonna set you guys up. Um, yeah, the wiring, it's so simple. You know, on a positive and negative and the battery under here. And then there's a connector right here. You can disconnect it. So basically up to this connector here, this is always gonna stay on the machine. So when I'm not using it, when you know, you're not using it all the time. You're using the more to, to cut grass more than, you know, using this. Um, I'm just going to open this up and then tuck this underneath here and you'll never even see it, but it'll be ready to go. So this wiring right here, I just tuck it in right here and take it off right there. As you can see, you know, it's connected there. So yeah, I just figured, you know what, I'll just hang it right there. Why not? Because I don't want to attach it to the mower because I'm taking this off again. I'm not leaving it on the mower all the time. So this works out perfect. Right? The wire is clear of the machine. It's not going to hit any exhaust or nothing. I'm telling you, it works awesome. So here's the switch right here. So I'm standing on the machine. Oh, here I am standing on the machine. You just lean over, hit the button, turn it on. You can op open up the chute here, like for the uh, you know fertilizer to spread and stuff. So easy, easy, you can reach it. There's a guard on here, so it doesn't come back. Come this way. You know, your fertilizer is gonna shoot sideways and forward, right? So. Yeah, you can buy these things with, you know, the hitch receiver for a two inch, whatever, and this and that. I priced them out when I got that aerator, which I don't have anymore. And Xmark wanted, no word of a lie, here in Canada, it's like a couple thousand dollars. It's stupid money. This thing cost me, I got it on Amazon. I think it was on sale for like $230 or something like that. It was something stupid. It might even be under 200 I think Justin got his for 230 and I got mine for 180 or something like that. And it works mint. It's perfect. Like you don't need to go out and spend two thousand dollars on an Xmark spreader or whatever spreader and this and that. Just do this. You know that, that hitch uh receiver right there that welded the uh, spreader onto it. It's only maybe fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. It's just a small straight one. And then the cost of this, it's like you're saving tons of money. You just hook it up to your battery, away you go. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this.
That worked amazing. Unbelievable. That's really cool. I did put this cover on just because, you know, you hit bumps and stuff when it was full. I didn't want it all flying out. That happened to me last year. <laughs> so you learn, right? I still got a little bit left in there. I'm going to top it up and I'm going to do the backyard. But, um, yeah, you've seen it. It works. So that's my uh, cheap spreader. Justin Little has the same one. So you'll probably see him uh, doing this too. But guys and girls, if you guys want to do this, go on Amazon. Just get like an ATV spreader or whatever. Don't spend thousands of dollars on one. Don't get an X Mark Toro or whatever brand. No, I don't even know what brand this is. I don't care. I saved a lot of money and this thing works like gold. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, be nice to everyone and do something nice for someone today and we'll see you soon. Peace.